Hello, welcome in the CHGO Bears podcast presented by PointsBet. Use that code we always tell you about. CHGO to get up to $2,000 in free bets and live your bet life. We are living our best lives today in Studio B. See, I did that because best bet. It all Where are we? B. I'm so confused right now. And What's uh, happening? New. You look good, though. Oh, thanks. You got your hockey gear on today. Uh-huh. Yeah, we just talked about the uh, 12 year anniversary of the Blackhawks winning their first cup in 49 years. That was 2010. Patrick Kane, the goal that no one saw. I had a good time. I was at West End. Go listen to the Blackhawks pod. I told a little story about that night. Great night. Uh, but, anyways, yeah. sorry we're behind everyone. Uh, sorry, Edward Schmidt says, let's go. I agree. Let's go. Let's go so, Edward. right on. I think I might have been at West End that night. No way. I was definitely. <laughs> hey, around yeah. this area, I forgetting which bar it was. Watching with friends, Weston was the official. Did a honk bunch of bar. people, um, the friends I was with somehow snuck in bottles of champagne that oh, no one cool. saw. And the second that I'll give him credit because no one saw the puck go in, they somehow did because the champagne was flying before I even realized what had happened. See into the future. I mean, it was impressive. That's pretty impre- impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was a good night. Um, hey, we are in Studio B. This is uh, this is a cozy mm-hmm. studio. I like this. Yeah. I'm feeling this vibe right now. I'm. Um, Here's my one question about it, though. Yeah. Is Nick okay enough? Are we all getting whatever oh. allergies he yeah, had? Because we're a little more confined. Here. Yeah, we are a little confined. I'm a little. I'm should I be wearing a mask? Lot better though. Should I be wearing a mask, Nick? Am I? Am I? I, okay I think it'll be fine. I don't think my voice is going to go out like it did in the first few minutes of yesterday's episode. So I think we're good. Okay. Okay, well, whatever we you were say. exposed to a Monday when he didn't have a voice, so That's it's true. been four yeah. days. So I guess tomorrow. Not feeling anything now. Tomorrow's the deadline. We'll um, be back. We'll be a remote show on Friday. So, oh, we'll now it. we go remote. Sure. Like in hindsight, we probably should have done Monday remote. Just pushing through, you guys. Um, Just this is our to. secondary studio we have at CHGO. So for those of you that haven't maybe seen some of the other shows, uh, which you should, you should be checking out all of our shows. But uh, this is the first time we've done a live show in here, Nick. We did do one audio only podcast uh the memorial day special that went out we did record that in here but um this is the first time we got the videos flowing it's uh decked out with the, the brick and we got you can't see it but there's a stanley cup poster over there you got it all in here it's it's cozy i i like personally i like these seats a little bit better but you know that's just me it is comfortable hey uh i'm feeling good right now because i don't know if you guys saw this but i just torched <laughs> Our compadres uh, on the CHGO Sports Podcast today, we did a 80s movie draft with the second Top Gun coming out, Top Gun Maverick, which we've talked a lot about here on this show. Excessively. And, yeah, probably. Uh, even I can admit that. It is good. And I think I missed my last chance to go see it for DX. When you told me that, Adam, I was I was a little disappointed. Yeah. Um, especially if you can't see it again. Like, if that was your last opportunity, and I was looking myself to see for It looks you, like it is. I think that was it. So there was one today at noon. So it was either call off this show today and go see Top you. Gun 40X, which I don't know that people, our listeners, viewers, would appreciate it. Um, or it was last night, 845, showing go by myself, but my wife really wanted to finish Ozark, and we had three episodes left. Whoa. And I couldn't turn that down. I, I, mean, I think I made the correct husband move there. In high, yep, I agree. Um, how, are the, how are the last three episodes? I, I have to say. No spoilers. O, uh, no spoilers. Ozark turned out to be a first and fourth quarter team. Okay? okay. Obviously, the first season of Ozark, everybody loves. I still thought second season was good. Third season, you know, they were like the Celtics in the third quarter. Yeah. Mm. And then I thought they finished really, really strong. With the fourth season. I love the entire fourth season. A lot of pe- I did not look this up until I finished it, obviously. But I went on Twitter to get some reactions to the ending. Very negative. A lot of people don't like it. Which doesn't really surprise me. Because I don't think this spoils anything. I'm just saying. It's probably not the ending people want. Okay. But I think it's the ending the show needed. Mm. I think I just quoted Batman balance. there accidentally. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I enjoyed it. And uh, I think I had to make that call, even if it meant never seeing Top Gun Maverick in 4DX. You just have to install movable seats in your home where they can rotate yeah, whenever no the planes go. Yeah, like $8,000. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, Rakim's uh, probably alongside Nick here and saying he's not qualified to speak on the 80s. No. I, well, yeah, probably not. 
Yeah, I, I even I felt that way going in. I mean, I was yeah, born in '86, so young, and yeah, I agree. You, you were probably not qualified either, but but you would be. I'll give you my entire big board. Yeah, right Edwards here. asking what was your number one pick. I had it. So my my yeah. If you haven't seen this, it's on the uh, the CHGO. We could probably bring this up honestly. CHGO uh, Sports Twitter account. So CHGO underscore Sports. We did tweet out the results. Um, I had the fourth pick. I was penalized. Um, I had the last pick in the draft because I was late today. So boo me. Uh, I was late. You know, we did the whole John's podcast. I had to do a hit on the score. There was Bears things happening. Sorry, uh, 1980s movies were not top of priority. But I did go, I couldn't do all this talk about Top Gun and then not pick Top Gun. I so I did take Top Gun in the first round. And then, um, and then you can see. Here you go. Here's your 80s goes. movies draft. Okay, the moment where I knew that I won this draft, <laughs> like, and it wasn't even close, was when, because it's snake draft style. So I had those last two picks. Um, not of the entire draft, but my my last two picks came where it's Caddyshack and um, Back, to the, Back to the Future. And I had four movies there that I felt very, very... Like, my entire draft could have been right there, and it still would have been a good draft. Oh, yeah. As Caddyshack, Back to the Future, those were the two picks I made. The next two would have been Major League and Bull Durham. Mm. Both really good movies. Wait, those are eighties movies? Yes. See, you'd be surprised. Some of these Major League Major League was eighty nine. Oh gosh. Bull Durham Just was eighty eight. Wow. Bull Durham is a phenomenal. Watched that in my sports class in Iowa for the Field, first time. Field of Dreams was eighty nine. Oh man. Oh. Yes. Wow. A lot of baseball films in the yeah. end of the Yeah, there was a That's good weird. run there right at the end. So um I mean Wow, none of those are on here. I know. There were some omissions here while we're picking clue and Stuff. Yeah, Casey, well, Casey was <laughs> not Casey. around in the eighties either. I, I am not a Star Wars guy, and I'm actually upset that Empire Strikes Back was not selected. Well, I was having a discussion yeah. with Kevin K Duct here. If you could see his, um, you know, selections, and he's like, "Well, it's it's not a eighties movie." I'm like, "But it came out in the eighties. Like, what?" Yeah, he tried to make. He, uh, listen to the podcast. It's it's yes, actually on yeah. this feed too. If you check that, it out. may have popped up because I was on it. They put it in the Bears feed today, so you you could check it out. Um, we won't spend the whole sh- a part of this show talking about it, but yeah, he tried to make some weird argument about how Star Wars movies are not eighties movies. I mean, maybe there were seventies movies. What well, the first one I think was was oh, in the seventies. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. The next two though were eighties, so they're definitely eighties movies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's this uh, about here? The Bears are at Wrigley today. Is that happening? Yes. Yeah. So they were. Um, they had their last practice today, which turned out to just be baseball at Wrigley Field. Very common move, That's by the awesome. way. This happens. It's the end of the voluntary program. It's sort of a lot of coaches will be like, "Okay, appreciate you guys being here. You didn't have to be here." Let's go out and have a fun day. I was wondering if they would do something like this. I didn't know if the fact that they had Tuesday's practice canceled, they'd try to make that up today. Mm-hmm. But anyway, they are at Wrigley Field. We've, we're seeing this on a lot of the Bears players' social media. And um, yeah, Where I can I bring it up? Do we think uh, Justin's got it? Look at, Let's see. I can find something. Look at um, Kevin Fishbane tweeted out a video. Okay. I know. Um, but Justin Fields. I'll take a look. Yeah, he went yard. He went yard. He definitely went yard. Oh, here we go. Um, we're going to... Yeah, hold on. Give me a minute. Don't, don't say here we're going yet. Let me, okay. Give me a minute. Yeah, the, they can't see that yet. But. but yeah, I saw this on my way here to the studio just on Jalen Johnson's Instagram Live. I'm like, oh, they're at Wrigley Field. They're playing wiffle ball and have some other games kind of set up and just kind of enjoying this beautiful, beautiful day here in Chicago. And Here you go. They picked a good day for that. I mean, I don't know why I can't get a Wednesday uh, Vernon Hills Red Sox practice to ever happen because it rains every Wednesday. But uh, that's... Let's not talk about rain in this damn time of the year with my deck problems, but we don't need to talk about that. Oh, no. Deck problems. Oh, Oh, I heard about this. Is it falling apart? Oh, no. It is is now going on month eight. Oh, because it just keeps raining. Not being able to get our deck restained because of quote-unquote weather. That yeah. does take, you kind of do need a week I know. where it's not Oh, you need rain. like 48 hours, blah, blah, blah. But yeah. like, it's now June. Like, come on, people. I will I will be calling out that company on this podcast if they ever actually do the job. <laughs> I once redid my whole yeah. uh, deck by myself, our first house in Park Ridge. Yeah, I'm not doing wow. that. It was a lot of work. I, like lot it of work. took me a month, which turns out is 
um, seven months fewer than what your deck has taken. So, <laughs> Apparently. yeah, maybe maybe you should have just hired me to do it. I bet. Hey, if it gets to month nine, <laughs> you're hired. Adam Hogue is. You could have had a kid work. in that time period. In yeah. my family, we both of our kids would have already been born because they just come early. Um, but there yeah. Anyway, congrats to Justin Fields for looking awesome. He, uh, of course, played baseball, and that doesn't surprise me that he can still get up there and hit a home Could, run. Could uh, use him on the CHGO softball team playing Monday nights after our game was canceled for yeah. rain, yeah. going back to the rain, the weather. So need some guys I would, some uh, fingers. I would also recruit Cole Komet. That would be another nice addition. Any other uh, Bears players that play baseball? I think those are the two that come to mind. Those That's are about the, it. Those are the two obvious ones. I think. Yes. Um, all right. So I was also told that you have some type of surprise for me. Yes. This is also this for all of our listeners. I've been wanting to do this for a little bit now. It's kind of like a guessing game here, Adam. Interesting. So we're going to have a graphic come up real quick. Hey, yeah. Here is this happening here we now? Go. Okay. So for people right. who are watching and people who are listening, I have a graphic. And if you're a Ooh. Pokemon fan, it says guess the quarterback. Read off the stats here. 16 games played, 308 completions, 490 attempts, 62.9 completion percentage, 3,324 yards, 22 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, and 32 sacks. Now, I is this a Bears quarterback? This is, or this any is quarterback. not a Bears quarterback. This is last season? This what are, is what are not we last. This is, um, okay, so this is yeah, going to. Let's explain this. I mean, yes, there's here, we like, here we go. Here we go. We're explaining. Like, 20, Joe Montana. Yeah. 2017. Uh, we got to narrow this down a little. It's a quarterback in year two. In its 2017 season. Quarterback in oh year my. two. He does play in the NFC. And there was a reference to him. This might give it away. A reference in yesterday's press conference. Oh, boy. Um, oh, I don't know. Anybody in the, in the chat, if you can get this, if you're listening to yesterday's press well, conference. I was going to say is it's uh, Jameis Winston. No. Eh. Uh, let's see. Lamar Jackson, I see in the chat. It is oh, no, that was 15. 2017 so Carson year Wentz? Two? No. no. All right, I think I, I think it's time to reveal it. We'll do this right now. It's Dak Prescott. Oh, that hey. one I should have known. We talked about Dak Eber, this morning. Yes, Eberflus I mean, mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of yeah. come he made he said it's he brought up Dak, Charles Dak Prescott. Oh, I am uh, yeah, a lot of guys got this in our chat. Okay, Dark so Dak, Onyx, there it Skokes, is. Charles nice. Murphy, Antoine Robinson Jr. right on. Okay, cool. We got a we got a run on Dak there, but Matt Eberflus brought this brought Dak up in his press conference yesterday, kind of made a comparison, also said it wasn't a comparison, but he brought him up in terms of what the growth that he kind of wants to see from Justin Fields, what he yeah. can do, you know, in the pocket when he gets outside, uh, makes some plays with his legs. But those stats there, Adam, um, if we can actually bring those up again, Lawrence, just to kind of reference them. For a year two, for a Justin Fields, a guy that, again, he played 16 games, was able to throw 22 touchdowns, did have 30. 13 interceptions, 32 sacks is actually... That's going to be about right. <laughs> it's it's four less than what Fields had in 12 games last season. So it's actually an improvement. But is this is this like a, a, a good jump that you would like to see? Is this a jump that would... Yeah, that work? would work. That would work. That would definitely work. And, and you know, Matt Eberflus did... Um, look, he was asked a question from Stacey Dales, like kind of about what quarterback situations he's seen yeah and and i don't think he was necessarily comparing dak to just i think he was just bringing up hey i was in dallas and witnessed dak prescott's first and second season so he's got that context Mm -hmm. just in his career of seeing a quarterback go from year one to year two and make the current jump that justin fields is trying to make yeah and i mean if justin and i see like new new like in our chat here saying those stats suck. Do they suck compared to what Justin Fields did last season? They're they're definitely an upgrade. Obviously, I mean, Justin only played 12 games. Was, wait, how many? It was over 3,000 yards. Is it, isn't the Bears still don't have a 3,000-yard passer or something? Is it a 4,000? 4, <laughs> 4, I mean, shit, uh, I don't know. It's probably three. Probably, yeah, uh, I mean, we're going to set the bar low here, but I can look up Jay Cutler's stats real quick because that's going to be probably the guy with the closest... Uh, by the way, anybody with really good eyes is going to be able to see uh, Lawrence that I spilled over here. So I'm going to I'm going to need a uh, paper towel Man, at some point. I, I should have brought you uh, Billy's little uh, pee pad. Oh yeah, Billy, uh, the there, little doggy. There is a dog here. There is a tiny, twelve week old, incredibly cute 
dog. So cute. I wish we could. That ran to me when I walked in. She kind of that I like ears. had to pick up and cuddle. And then, and, it, and she was loving it. And then out of nowhere, squealed and jumped out of my arms. And I, I know it. I thought yeah. she might have been dead. And well, I was really worried. I know. I'll be honest. Natalie came in here while I was trying to do the, the Hawks podcast. I said, Yeah. And she like fell out. And I hope she's okay. And I'm like, What did Hogue do to that dog? I felt bad. As but you uh, Billy, Billy with IE is looking just fine walking around the studio over here. She's kinda. a cutie pie. Well, she wouldn't be the first dog to pee in the. Uh, she also she also made uh, the Blackhawks podcast. I'll promote that pod one more time. I was holding her for a little bit, and she licked my face. Very cute. Was she actually worried about her dog? She was. Dang she it. was. I mean, I she's like, she's like, I think she's fine now. But like, I was a little worried. Thing is, you saw. I it. I saw it. I, I went. I was, like, I was like, <laughs> it's not like I dropped her. No, no, no. She no. jumped. Billy's like, I'm out, and then landed on her head. It doesn't help that you know you have your your broken wrist. Oh, and I have the thing. Oh, the gripper. The gripper? My bag. Okay. Damn it. Uh, by the way, it's 4,000 4, is the 4, uh, answer. Yep, everyone in the that. chat. Because Jay Cutler was... had 3,666. Yeah, Smoking but, Jay. But they still never had a 4,000-yard passer, which is amazing. But again, is that a benchmark that Justin Fields could strive to get to, potentially? Um, you you'd like to see less sacks. Look, if, if his... Um, you'd want less interceptions, ideally. Mm-hmm. And less sacks. I don't know. You know, sacks might still be a problem. But if if his completion percentage is up there, he throws for over three thousand yards this year. It's a good. It, that is a good step up. That would be considered a very arrow pointing in the right direction in year two. Where do we know? Like, where was Dak ranked among passers? Like, how how low is that? Because I'm trying to figure out. Like, is that good enough like noon is like that's he's like i'm sorry those aren't encouraging stats in my opinion for justin fields in year two i don't know like i i mean gotta readjust our bar which is apparently when i did when i uh wanted to say that they haven't had a three thousand yard passer uh bear with me guys i haven't seen a lot of those even (laughs) yeah no (laughs) i I know they've had them but i haven't seen a lot of them. so i quickly pulled up 2017 and the quarterbacks what they did that season obviously tom brady was up there first with 4,577 yards Dak finished 16th in terms of yardage. Um, we go to touchdowns now. Where was Dak at? Oh, he's tied for 14th. So what? Ha- middle of the pack. If okay. he's middle of the pack next year, Justin Fields with, you know, there's a lot of good quarterbacks in this league, especially in the AFC. And you know what he did last season? The mixed bag from Justin Fields. It's improvement. Maybe it's not what... You want to see, ideally, like you want to see, like we were talking about, less sacks, less interceptions. But you got to also weigh in. Like, the situation is not the best for Justin Fields. This is his first year in a new offense. If he can make strides in the right direction, I think that is ultimately what's best for him and what's best for this Bears team. If he throws for 4,000 yards with these receivers, oh, like, you already know give he's the, the guy. give him the MVP. Yeah. Here's, what, here's, what, he here's what Nunu wants in the chat. He says he'll have 30 plus TDs, 13 INTs, and over 500 rushing yards and pass for over 4,000 yards, 4,107. Okay. <sighs> That's a lot. That would be, <laughs> that, that is an optimistic view. Hey, we would be great if it happened. Uh, thank you as we uh, clean up this mess. See, over this here. is what you get when you watch on YouTube. You can see Adam cleaning up the Coke. Can't get this if you just Coca Cola to Coca-Cola. be clear. Okay, yeah, it is not an. I don't know why it would <laughs> be anything ball. other than Coca Cola, but <laughs> but yes, that was yeah, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. just making sure the pod. By the way, the podcast listeners, I feel bad because kind of forgot during when we were talking about the movie draft. So my four select because they probably couldn't see all selections. Uh, yeah, my four true. selections were Top Gun, um, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, then. Um, um, Caddyshack, on, and then Back on. to the Future. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not going to go through the whole draft. You don't even need this to, to honestly. I don't know, see, Adam. But the rest of them are on uh, CHGO underscore sports. Yeah, just making sure you knew. Twitter Top page. Gun Fast Times, Caddyshack, Back to the Future. But if you look the in the comments, it's like a, it's a mixed bag of who's winning this. There's some that are all for Adam. I see some for Kevin. It's like I'm seeing a little bit of a mixed bag. We should have done a poll. No. the still do a poll. No, the it's a runaway. If you add them all, all up, it's not even close. Okay. It's not even close. I hate to say it. I mean, I like yours. I mean, I feel like the Baltimore Ravens after this year's NFL draft, just knowing like, 
Hell, hell of a so draft. Weird. Hell this of a draft. This guy fell to me again? Okay. They took an Iowa guy. Mm. Well, that, that was <laughs> the only problem. Yeah. Um, all right. No, I, li- I like that. So, Dak Prescott. Year two. Realistic expectations for year two there. I, I think that that's uh, completely fair. All right. Uh, let's take a moment here to tell you about our friends at PointsBet. Because the best way to support CHGO, if you're enjoying what we're doing, and we know you are, we thank you for that, please download the PointsBet app. Use code CHGO when you sign up. And if you do that right now, you'll get two risk-free bets up to $2,000. And that's not it. You make a $50 more first-time deposit, you'll receive a free CHGO membership, which unlocks all of our web content, and you'll even get a free shirt of your choice from the CHGO locker. That's $2,000 in free bets a free CHGO membership, and a free T-shirt from the CHGO Locker, all for making a $50 or more first-time deposit at PointsBet. Any questions, email PointsBet at allchgo.com, and we will help you out as that PointsBet hat. We got props today. how big this hat is. Like, I have a small hat. Like, I I just have to, like, wear tiny hats, but this just, that's something. You can tighten it. I can. There is a strap (laughs) on the back that adjusts. I will tighten it as I tell you about our next fantastic partnership. Oh, boy. This Second started. day in a row he's trying to do this. We're not done yeah. with the read. Sorry, I should have tossed it to you. Oh, I yeah. Yeah, that. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, any questions, email pointsbet at allchgo.com. And please include um, suggestions for hats that fit Nick's head if you do email that. Uh, you're home for live in-play betting. Just got even better. We got the live NBA same game parlay, which you can still use here th- during the finals and for the first time ever you can build that first uh, live nba same game parlay with points bet boost those parlays online sign up is available in illinois download the points bet app right now register your account from start to finish all from your phone what are you waiting for once the game starts don't just bet live your bet life with points bet gambling problem call 1-800-522-4700 i think i'm losing oxygen to my head from how tight this is but i think it's a lot better all right Our oh my next gosh. Uh, the, the you strap. can't see the strap. Oh, oh my gosh. I was showing people like how it is long stri- is this? Like, Turn it around. How, how, oh Look my gosh. How small is your head? Man, what, what size is that? Well, I'm telling you. Are you like a six and three quarters? Uh, probably. Six and like, a half? It's a kid's size hat. I, I actually, Seriously. Um, yes, tiny head, but look at this. It fits so. Just you have all this going. All right. Um, I have to tell you about our next partner, Athletic Greens. With one scoop of Athletic Greens, you are absorbing. 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help start your day off right. This mixture of ingredients helps your immune system, gives you energy, and improves your focus. And that's why I take my Athletic Greens, and you should too. What's awesome about Athletic Greens is that it costs less than a cup of coffee a day. Also, it helps support better sleep quality and recovery, which we all need. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition just one scoop in a cup of water every day, that's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. And all you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash Bears. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash Bears to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutrition insurance. I have to say, uh, oh, we got we got we, we got <laughs> viewers that are worried about you. I, what am I struggling with? I mean, I mean, I I don't know the tiny head thing is my guess. Oh, I, I can't do anything about that. I can tiny, adjust the strap. Tiny oh, head. I, I like what Devin voice. said though. Devin in the chest has a strap hanging out the side of your head. Makes it your own unique style. Exactly. It's definitely Appreciate a unique it, style. Devin. I'm not sure. A lot of things it's a can be good style. To you. Yeah, yeah. You know, you I do look a, like a you look like a five year old wearing a hat for a dad. But, well, you know. Oh, wait. Hold on. Nunu says, wait a minute. What? Nunu says it's a Chicago thing. I have. Yeah. No, it okay. is. Okay. Yep. Never, I'm aware. I Never heard of that being a I Chicago thing. I didn't Appreciate realize that. No. Yep. See that strap? I'm yep. very, hmm. I have to say, I, I'm a little distracted because this cute dog is just distracting me. This is, She's laying right there. Anything. Just, like, Anything. just rubbing it in that I injured a puppy. <laughs> it's like. You stay away from you, but also reminding me she's okay. I think she's fine. I feel really bad. I think about she's it. fine. You know, they're like children. You know, they're easily yeah, uh, they 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 bounce back. I just again want to document it that I did not drop the dog. 
The dog hated me so much it jumped. I'm a witness. And we made up later after the uh, beatdown of I the yep. uh, movie draft. We, we had him on. What's the dog's name again? Billy. I.E. As an eyelash. Oh. Billy Eilish. I like Billy Rakeem Eilish. thinks it's like a ponytail. How would Nick it, look in a ponytail? I used to have long hair down to my shoulders back when I was in seventh grade. Picture. Did you look like Aaron Rodgers? Uh, no, but I, I was going for the Zach Efron look. I played on the Eagles. We won our flag football championship that year. You were going for Zach Efron? I was. Well, I don't know if I was, but that's what everyone said. Use your green bubble phone, find a photo, get it to Lawrence. We have to see this before the show's over. Hey, all right. We have to talk about, uh, today's player grade from last season. And, uh, this was not planned this way, but actually worked out pretty perfect. Oh, gee, I got to get those in. Hold on one second. Let's talk about Nick and his gripper real quick. It's in my bag. It's in my, my backpack, which is over there. No, no, that's all right. So, uh, um, we there's there are some interesting players on this defense mm-hmm. who were signed by the previous regime mm-hmm. to play in a different scheme um that it's a little like it's interesting to think how they'll fit this scheme like on one side of it you have like a Robert Quinn who it should fit better, quite frankly. Like, it was almost weird that he signed with the Bears when he did, considering he had always been more comfortable as a hand on the ground, 4-3 defensive end. Um, but then you have some other guys, because the Bears were a 3-4 team for so long, that definitely fit more of the outside linebacker, stand up, rush the quarterback uh, out of a two-point stance, and also have to drop into coverage mm-hmm. and do all those things. And now that they're back to a traditional 4-3 defense with those defensive ends, um, it's that you have a couple of these tweeners that you just don't know how it's going to work out. I thought it was interesting talking to Jeremiah Tachu yesterday because here's a guy who has always been a versatile player in his career um, and has not played in a... Uh, Four three since college. He Senior said. year. Um, so because he came from the Broncos, Broncos were running a three four, um, and he's been in the league for a while. He's also let's see, seven years, right? Yeah, seven he started with the Chargers, um, bounced around 49ers, Jets, Chiefs, then went to the Broncos under Vic Fangio, then came to the Bears, and of course the Bears were still three four last year. So. It's been a long time since this dude has played in a 4-3 defense. And he seems to think it's going to be a good fit. Like, he points to, like, what, what he believes are his strengths, mm-hmm. get off, athleticism, and he likes the idea, I don't have to drop into coverage anymore, just put my hands on the ground, beat the guy across from me, go get the quarterback. Yeah, he said things like getting in a track stance that what you mentioned, he doesn't have to think about, it, just go get after the quarterback. So he can use his quickness off the line of scrimmage and then just overall makes his job easier. And I think that's been a common denominator for a lot of these defenders where they don't have to think as much in this type of defense. So just go react. Go use your your God-given abilities and make plays on on the football field. But he did mention that as uh, something that could help him out there. Well, the reason we're bringing this up is because he is today's player grade Jeremiah Atachu um, from last season similar to Tevin Jenkins and that was a limited sample size he was only able to play six games but you know this is sort of what his role is we talked about Caleb Johnson yesterday this is a guy who's supposed to be a backup um, and be solid on special teams I think the Bears probably signed him last year hoping to get a little bit more out of him yeah the guy can probably playing that fringe starter category, which would be above a one on my grading scale. Um, but he had a couple games that were at that level. And really, I think I only had him down for one negative game. So it's not like, it was really more of like an incomplete season where we didn't get a chance to see the most out of Jeremiah Tachu and because he got hurt, because he wasn't really used a lot even, you know, no, at the beginning. Wasn't. And... Um, I actually really like the signing when they made this. So I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. He suffered that torn pack in week six. Um, again, signed to play in a different scheme. I, he's just one of these players that I don't, it's almost like a luxury. I don't know that you need Jeremiah Tachu, but 
if he were to actually follow through on the things he talked about yesterday, um, where he thinks he's a good fit for this scheme, maybe if you end up trading Robert Quinn, you know. Yeah, no. He, maybe he's a guy that actually helps you more than you think he will this year. Yeah, and I mean, it made made sense at the time when the Bears were running a 3-4. Like, this is a guy that played in that type of defense, had five sacks with Denver in 2020. So, in 2021, you're thinking the Bears are going to get some of that just transition smoothly. And he does, like we've talked about, he said he can now use those assets that he has. And in this defense, it'll just complement his game. But for me, if the Bears were to do something with Robert Quinn, move him. It, it is kind of, I don't want to say it's a luxury, but you just want to see what you have out of a guy that is a veteran. Um, because then it's just going to be Travis Gibson and Alquan D. Muhammad. So you kind of want to have somebody that does have some experience. Yes, does have to transition a little bit playing at a, a type of position that he hasn't played since senior year at Georgia Tech. But it is nice to have a guy like this. We just need to see if what he's saying really does translate when the pads come up. Yeah, because we're kind of just going off of what he's saying. It's hard to judge this stuff right now in practice. I'll be honest. Like, I haven't necessarily been... Um, he played 129 snaps last season, yeah. Adam. It's, like, hard to define... But I'm exactly saying, like, even in can, uh, in uh, OTAs, like, he's not necessarily someone I've been searching out on purpose, and he no. also hasn't necessarily popped out by accident. He hasn't been... I know early on he wasn't even practicing. Yeah, well, so, that's probably why. He's still yeah, not, probably so not totally back. He may back. just be back. Okay. So, um, But he was one of the player reps, which is why he talked yesterday. Yep. And um, just to put a bow on that whole conversation... The whole thing is kind of ridiculous, to be honest with you. The more and more I think about the just them losing a practice over the the contact. Like, again, I, I know I said this yesterday, but the fact that they didn't find Matt Eberflus and they didn't find the Bears is an admission that there was no malicious intent to break any rules. Um, and so, basically... You know, they went over the line. Some of the players, and it was probably accidental, like went over the line a little bit. Some guys went to the ground. So then their punishment is to get a day off. And, you know, if you're Cole Komet, you went golfing on that day off. So like, so what kind of incentive is that to, oh, hey, guys, if we go harder, we'll get some extra days off. Hey, maybe play some wiffle ball on Thursdays. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree, Adam. And w like we were saying, the closer you are to the ball, more likely those guys are going to end up on the ground. If you're linemen, those defensive linemen, it happens. Like like uh, um, Justin Jones is saying, it's football. Yeah. You're going to end up on the ground. So, yeah, the Bears, they were penalized, but they weren't penalized. Uh, hey, did you get your um, edge to start your day today? Ooh, is that a segue to Strava? Because I did. Wait, hold on. Uh, oh, speaking wait, wait. of edge, hold on. There's the, the chat has been talking about this, how, you know, some guys are saying, I, I too. Atachu. 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 Nomad says he's going to eat. He's a speed rusher. And then uh, where did what did Nunu, Nunu say? He says, I don't know about him playing in the middle, though. He looks too light in the cheeks, which I think is great. Uh, he he says, uh, but he says edge for show, not the middle. Yeah, he's going to be playing not, not in the middle. The not in the middle. End. Defensive end. Defensive end. And uh, Nunu, I also saw in the comments, says I don't wear hats, which means he did not watch Tuesday show. Ha. And hmm. clearly, I don't wear a lot of hats because most of them don't fit. All right, but uh, what about that edge you're talking about, huh? Ah, yes, the <laughs> Strava CBD coffee. Well, it's a game changer, you guys. Is so throw him a Strava knows. hat now that yep. doesn't fit. There's a Strava hat. We or just a glass of it or mug of it. Thank you. Uh, well, it's helped thousands of people to improve their overall wellness and quality of life. Strava delivers delicious, fresh roasted specialty coffee infused with organic broad spectrum CBD. And just so you know, CBD from hemp doesn't make you high or hungry, but it does offer real benefits that can help you. Like feeling alert and focused without the jitters, living your day more balanced with less anxiety and fewer aches and pains. Plus, including CBD in your daily routine can even help you enjoy more restful sleep so you wake up feeling at your best. And the best part about all this, you guys, Strava is all about quality. Everything is small batch, fresh, and shipped straight to your door. Strava also offers concentrated full-spectrum CBD tinctures for those looking for a more traditional CBD format with a powerful entourage effect of benefits. CHO listeners can save 25% on 
off their entire purchase when you use code CHGO25. That's 25% off your entire order at StravaCraftCoffee.com when you use code CHGO25 at checkout. Already love Strava? Subscribe and save with the Strava Coffee Club. With Strava, you are in control. Save on your favorite coffees and have them automatically delivered to your home or office on your preferred schedule. Oh. What is happening there? <laughs> That's a champion right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. That, uh, that for was, those listening to the yeah. podcast, we have a photo of Nicholas Moriano. Seventh grade. That was, uh, I think, the start of the season. Um, flag football. We ended up winning. Okay, here's here's a cool story. Wait, or, cool. I got I got to talk about Go. the picture first. Okay? Yeah, give us like Wait. we don't care about your seventh grade flag <laughs> yeah. football team. But look at this Wait. hair. Seventh grade. This photo looks like it was taken in 1973. Also, that See, that that is true. Yeah. Um, I I don't know. And you're going Zach Efron. That's what everyone said. I never watched High School Musical, so I just went off what uh, everybody said. But I'm like, all right, he's a good looking dude. I can take that. I'll, I'll take that compliment. Here you go, though. Okay. Seventh grade, we won the, the flag football championship. The very first play of the championship game, we went a five-yard out, catch the ball, throw up. I was so nervous before you the game. <laughs> yeah, I, I caught you meant the like ball. You threw up your hands or something. No, no, no. no, you, no meant, you were vomiting ball, on the field. Go out of bounds. And I'm like, coach, give me a sec here. And then immediately go to the back, throw up. I was so nervous because of the championship. Then I eventually came back into the game. But I caught the ball, first play of the game. Then I'm like, I got to go. Let me just throw this all up to the McDonald's I probably had in the morning. And, yeah, we won, though. We'll throw up in the ball. But, so, yeah, let's just confirm because Devin never, <laughs> never skateboarded in my life. Could not skateboard. Never skateboarded, never played baseball, never golfed. Uh, <laughs> the list is going on. Yeah, right. go, uh, go never on. heard of Carl Pickens. Devin uh, it says Eagles windbreaker what? But that's because that was your team. It was my jersey. That yeah, was your it was team, yeah. It was not a, sponsored yeah. by Cheetos. There we go. You were sponsored by Cheetos? Yeah, hello. little What are you, like Cheetos. a NASCAR yeah, there you go. team? What? I think it was baked Cheetos. And those are not even the good ones either. Baked Cheetos are terrible. Exactly. Ugh. But we were good that season, Lawrence. I'm sorry, you had a sponsor in seventh grade? And and also, it's like a giant corporate sponsor. It's not like... No, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's not like the hardware store down the street. Or, uh, they, knew, the they knew we had potential. What what's that's why. from. Uh, yeah, we're sponsored by uh, UPS this year. Uh, we are the seventh grade <laughs> Eagles. Like, we what? Ahead of the game. Ch- Chico's Bail Bonds. Is, you know, that's the okay, old... Okay, yep. Mm-hmm. From uh, whatever that movie was. I can't remember it now. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Anyways... Yeah, well, no, that picture made my it's day. wild. <laughs> yeah, wow. no smiling either. Everyone's like, but I was so used to smiling, but everyone was like, "Well, you're nope. in that phase of your life. Like even kids today do that. They're, they they go through a phase where they refuse to smile in pictures. Refuse they to think listen. They think they're being badasses. Mm-hmm. Looking, like, Looking a like a troubled, troubled youth. youth. Says yeah. no man. Oh, well, that's where I got into football. He, he caught that. a five yard pass, and Had to I think the dog up. just ran into the glass door. I did see that. That happened. Oh, boy. This dog is not going to survive her day at CHGO. <laughs> oh. Nunu says, I thought it was a teenage Keanu Reeves. <laughs> yeah, for you listening to the pod, please go watch the stream. Cause, go, uh, go watch. There's, there's a, a lot, lot of benefits, lot of things, from watching. There's a lot of Easter eggs on this, on this uh, stream, I there would is. say. There is. Got to watch. Studio B. We give you a lot of Coca-Cola. Yeah. Oh, did you? Uh, I didn't get a chance to, don't to watch Nick. Uh, Hogan John's Adam, but did you get Adam's... Uh, oh, yeah, the, the crawfish. Oh, we decided it's a crawfish. The pond oh, okay. animal. We also learned Common crayfish and crawfish are the same. Okay. Okay. Um, apparently, just they tend to be called crayfish more in the north. Ah, and okay. then in the south, yeah, you know, the, the crawfish. Craw daddy. I always call them crawfish. <laughs> By the way, those are delicious. Oh, so good. I, okay. Hold the on. ones you can get in Louisiana. <laughs> right. The one, the crawfish coming out of the pond at Hallis Hall, not sure I would boil those up. Um, especially that weird looking deformed one we saw yesterday on Adam Johnson's Twitter feed. Oh, here we go. Here well, no, I'm just uh, uh, Logan says the dog needs to sit out a day due to contact, which that's uh, a good yeah, one. Yeah. There. yeah, going too hard. Uh, like the all I'm gonna say is that uh, the the like crawfish boils or whatever you know people like to do that. No, see, just no. Lord has like <laughs> no. something for everything. It's like it's everything. so much work. For like this minuscule little amount of like meat in each one, you're like, mm, you that is just so delicious. No thanks, it's just disgusting. Your hands are all dirty. Get it out of here. So no. I would, I okay. Look, there's certain places you got to go. You can't just. I would agree with that. This is unless you really know what you're doing. Probably uh, not a DIY. 
cooking project. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you go to a legit crawfish place in New Orleans, you're gonna like it. I'm sorry, I'm getting right. I'm getting like shrimp etouffee or jambalaya or gumbo or all three. Pat Finley and I once went to a what apparently they have a, some sort of chain uh, crawfish restaurant, and we were in Arizona. Ooh. Not as good. Oh God, Arizona. Not as good. Oh, they don't Arizona, necessarily yeah. have a lot of crawfish. Were they uh, dry in Arizona? <laughs> yeah, it was not as good. Uh, same thing. Have you ever had Maryland blue crab? Similar in it is a lot of work. But if you go to the right place, uh, I'll give you one recommend. There's a place called Pinchers, or at least it was there in, in Fort oh my Myers. God. That, yeah. Um, and they'll just dump. The, first of all, they just take, uh, instead of like a tablecloth, it's just like paper, right? Oh, yeah, yeah that's the, how you know like it's Like brown good. paper. Sure, yep. yeah. And then they just mm-hmm. dump like 40 blue crab. Bring them. I love crab. Right yeah, there. Yeah. It's a lot of work. You know, it's not like your typical snow crab or king crab, I don't, I but it's worth honest, it. I don't like any of those crustaceans that you got to crack open and yeah. like, it's just too much. But uh, Sam in the chat says, do you guys do super chats? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Sam. Yes. Yes. We very much do super chats. Of course. Please. Super you can anything help too. Us out. It doesn't have to be just bears you, related. Like, just so you know, you're going to help out uh, with the studio, uh, all our equipment and all that. When Adam spills a Coca-Cola on the camera and we need a new camera. That would be something that uh, your super chats would help us purchase. If I manage to hit this Coke all the way to where the camera yeah. is, well, I just feel like I, one of these days you you're shouldn't gonna, even you're be mad. At gonna, you're probably going to throw something at me, and maybe it'll get over. Oh, my well, that might happen. Yeah. yeah, I feel like you know, I've made some. I mean, I already threw a excessive dog. comments. I already threw yeah, a dog. Yeah, today, yeah so. I threw a dog. Yeah, we could pay for the dog's <laughs> vet bills. Yeah, anything, please, Sam. What does that say <laughs> for Nomad it. down there? Uh, where what am I sneaking in? Oh. Oh, uh, Nick looked like he was sneaking in his dad's weed stash. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. I don't think my dad's ever smoked weed in oh, his well, life. Okay. Yeah. I found his stash apparently in seventh grade. Yeah. I, be- I believe it. But oh. you don't skateboard, so. No. No. Uh, no. I actually- crab seller. Crab seller. I'm going to shout out crab seller if you guys have ever been. Crab seller. Have you ever been there? No. Ever heard of it? Is it's, it? you pay like, you do pay a but load of money, but it's unlimited. Unlimited yeah, well, king crab. Yeah, cheap. Yeah. And I I went with Will one day after Bears training camp when it was still in Bourbon A. Legit a 20 king crab legs. Oh, and that's a oh, lot of meat. 20. Damn. That's and, a- well, Will's allergic, so he had it one. sure was a snow up. crab. <laughs> it was king crab. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was king crab. We can ask Will when he's back from Hawaii. One of those but king crabs, like, if he, if he, this no, long. Like huge. They if give you buckets. They keep coming, keep coming. I'm like, bring them. As long as I got butter, uh, I can go for days. What Jordans you got on? Uh, I don't know. Dude, he wants to know. These either, they're, they're beautiful. ones, but. Better not be Michigan the, State. The Jordan 1 Green Hornets. What are those? Uh, I can't even tell you. Yeah. They're ones. Okay. That's how you I know just, you have too many Jordans. You seriously. can't even tell you. Uh, is Will going to come back from Maui? I, I almost didn't. That's, uh, why I mean, would he? Yeah, I wouldn't. No, exactly. Just stay. Just stay. I would Is he actually back tomorrow or no? I have no idea. Back like, with us? I mean. I don't I, think he's back with us. Good Lord. I hope he's going to take a day and just like, like, I mean, I know like the time change is ridiculous. Oh, he can jump on a Zoom and do a. I mean, if it's. Just kidding. I don't know. He's been loading us with content, which, by the way, the last thing we have to get to before we got yes. here. Appreciate everyone having fun with us today. Uh, but we've been going. Uh, if you go to allchco.com, as you know, you can get these memberships, and you'll need one to read my Bears Things column from yesterday's OTAs. But unlocked for you is Will's player preview series. Uh, today, we have an intriguing player that. I, I would put him on my list of players I can't wait to watch yep. when training camp starts. Right now, not so much. Not much you can learn until the pads go on. But when they put the pads on at, at training camp, Dominique Robinson, the very um, raw, yep. high-potential defensive end that they drafted out of Miami, Ohio, who has only played defense for two years, after tra- uh, after changing from wide receiver, um, he is off the charts as- athletically. I think some of the conversations I've had, I feel like the Bears might actually think he can contribute sooner than maybe most of us do because he, he did seem like a big project. But 
this is like people who have listened to me for long enough know that one of my favorite days of the entire year is the first day the pads go on at training camp and they get into one on one pass rush drills. Offensive line, defensive line, go. And I cannot wait for that first day because we're going to learn pretty quickly where he stands uh, in terms of how raw is he, how quickly can he contribute, and um, I don't know. He might have to play depending on the guys they have right now at defensive end and if Robert Quinn ends up getting traded, all of a sudden you're looking at a group that's like al Quadin Muhammad, Travis Gibson, uh, Jeremiah sure. Tachu, Tachu, who already talked about, like Dominic Robinson might have to play. He might have to, and he's already been with the ones. And again, it's because guys like um, Al Quandi Mohammed and Robert Quinn haven't been at practice. Like Al Quandi Mohammed's back, but still no Robert Quinn. So, yeah, you might see a Dominic Robinson earlier than expected, and if it's situational passing downs. Like that makes sense yeah. for a guy of his skill set who's still so new to the position. Yeah, I'm curious to see what a, a Dominic Robinson can do, like him against a Tevin Jenkins. Obviously, Tevin Jenkins is still trying to prove himself, but you want to see what a guy like this who who is new to the position but does have that quick twitch speed, what he can do around the edge. Um, number 91 will definitely be someone to highlight just to watch throughout training camp and see if he can stack some good days together. Good job with the number. I'm still, man, all these practices. I I am like, this I've never felt so lost. Trying to watch our practice because usually have all the numbers memorized and there's just so many so new many players. Faces. I'm like, wait, which one's 13? Which one's 19? Which? Yeah, yeah, no, it's crazy. All right, uh, fun show today. Wait, real quick, I just want to bring yep. up Eric Sullivan's uh, uh, in the chat here. How do I get in a fantasy league with you guys? Put some class in your leagues. Ha ha ha. I suck at fantasy uh, You know, football. just I, just I fair like warning. This fall Discord, maybe we do yeah, some sort we can of do something like that. I personally am done with fantasy football. Really? Wow, you guys are quitters. I'm sorry. Um, I'm the suck. Jim Kelly of my fantasy yeah, you league. you lose all the time. Huh? I Four make it to losses. the championship and lose every year. Last year... Who'd you draft? Do you guys remember uh, Jamar Chase had 50 fantasy points Oh yeah. in week 17? So I'm sitting there at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon Feeling good. Of, of that Sunday being like, oh, oh baby, we finally did this. We got over the hump, and the rest of my team did jack shit, and I lost. Uh, making it worse is I believe the Packers had a Sunday or Monday night game that week and was playing against Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams oh, together. I'll do it. And that it, it. it was over by the second quarter of that game. It was the worst Defeat and it was to my quote unquote rival in the league too. We, I mean, we've been buddies since college, but okay. we have a little bit of a rivalry going. Um, that was tough to swallow, and I know nobody cares about my <laughs> fantasy league. You knew I'm the Matt Nagy of fantasy leagues. That's great. But hey, <laughs> Sam Ortiz, thank you so much. Nine ninety nine super chat. We appreciate. He says, "What do you guys think would be better for DK? Force out to get traded to a tougher conference in AFC and worse team, or but." Bite the bullet to choose team Bears, if no DK, Ridley, sleeper wide receiver to pick up next year. I'm a little... Is, is this DK Metcalf we're talking about? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, let's force out to get traded to a tougher... In the AFC and worst team. Like to a, like the tougher conference, the AFC. I assume yeah. that means... Well, like, you just want to go where you can get a better quarterback. Yeah, I was right going to say, I, it, it might be a tougher conference, but your odds of getting a good quarterback are better if you Stacked go to the AFC. Because right now you have Drew Locke or... Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, man, who, uh, is Tyrod it, Taylor? No. Is it Hundley? Tyrod? I don't know. Who cares? They're terrible. No, who? They have like no, the they worst, signed um, worst not, quarterbacks. Uh, um, Gino, is it? Is it, it might, might be, be Gino Smith. Okay. Do yeah, you, I think it's Gino Smith. Regardless of <laughs> the quarterbacks, we used, you don't want that if you're DK. Like, you don't, as a wide receiver who, who needs to prove himself, or like, this is not the year to have crappy quarterbacks. And if you stay with the Seahawks, that's exactly what you're going to get. Force a trade. Well, Ideally, in that scenario, it's like, yeah, go to the tougher conference. Go with a better quarterback. That's that's what I would do. Or come to the Bears. Thank you, Sam. We appreciate it. Bears. Bears. All right. We're out of here. I uh, hope everyone has a excellent Thursday. It is nice. Go be like Justin Fields hitting bombs at Wrigley Field. Uh, yeah, and if Justin and Cole Komet would like to come out to the CHGO softball. Monday night. Looking to go two and I one. Think, I think we could use a couple of ringers. Oh, oh are we going to? We're going to get the dog. Yeah, okay. Billy's coming in here. We've oh, been, yeah. We've been talking about 
See, the dog and I are friends. I promise. Don't. Don't. Okay. Oh my gosh! Look at Billy. I know, Hi, and I Billy. got really excited too. That was the problem, and then didn't really think about that. I am, as we've established on this show, six two and uh, high from the ground for yeah. a little tiny puppy. She is twelve weeks old. She is adorable. She's adorable. Yes, that is Natalie's dog. See, we're oh, friends. She's oh, everything's fine. The mic. Yes. We did also laugh when she walked into the door in the middle of the yeah. show. <laughs> but, you know, that happens. You know, Billy had a little accident <laughs> earlier in the day or just peed oh, right no. there? Well, no, that was, no, no, that was on the actually, pee pad. Actually, it was actually that's on the pad. So that's where she's supposed oh, to go. Oh, that's where she's yeah. supposed to go. Yeah, she did a good job. She's a good girl. Sorry. All right, well, we can get out of here now. That's my favorite dog of all time. Okay. All right. All right, let's do it, guys. All right, we're out of here. Uh, We'll talk to you tomorrow. We have a 1 o'clock show again. Talk to you then. See you.